Why should you stop smoking weed if you're a Christian? Because smoking weed is called sorcery in the Bible. Wait till the end. This is going to blow your mind. All right, let's see it. You might think of sorcery like the Sorcerer's Stone from Harry Potter or wizardry, but the root word for the word sorcery is pharmakia, which is where we get the word pharmacy from, which is basically ingesting some sort of drug in order to alter your consciousness. So in addition to the fact that neither that verse that was quoted nor any other passage anywhere in the Bible at all refers to smoking marijuana, that's absolutely not how the word pharmakia was understood anciently. The word pharmakia was used generically to refer to sorcery and magic, and that referred to the two negative uses of drugs. Pharmakon was the ancient Greek word for drug, and there were three main uses for a pharmakon. It could be used as poison, it could be used as a way to cast a spell or a charm on someone in order to control another person, or there was a positive sense in which you could use a drug, and that was as a medicine or in an effort to heal. So pharmakia referred to the two negative uses of drugs, and there was also a positive use. It's very similar to the use of the word drug today. And so, no, this has absolutely nothing to do with people who smoke marijuana for their own benefit. This is a misinterpretation that is imposed upon the Bible in order to make the Bible support contemporary social mores. And where do those social mores come from? Not ancient Judaism, that's for sure. So we know that marijuana was used for at least two distinct purposes within early Judaism and ancient Israel. This first article from the journal Nature from 1993 discusses analysis that was conducted on some powder that was found associated with the skeletal remains of a 14-year-old girl who died in childbirth in Beit Shemesh around the 4th century CE. And the analysis found that this was marijuana. And they determined that this girl was inhaling marijuana smoke shortly before her death, most likely as a treatment to aid in uh, controlling the pain that would ultimately kill her during that labor. More recent analysis was conducted on the residue that was found on top of the two incense altars found associated with the Judahite temple at the Judahite fortress of Arad. So this dates to around 700 BCE. The smaller incense altar, the residue that was on top of that was found to have various types of THC associated with it. In other words, in ancient Israelite worship, marijuana was burned on the incense altars before the Holy of Holies in order to facilitate some feature of that worship. Now, I don't know that we have any direct physical evidence for early Christianity's use of cannabis in ritual and worship, but it almost certainly happened. Uh, there's no opposition to this within early Judaism or ancient Israel. The only opposition that I can see to this comes from the influx and the influence of more conservative Greek philosophical frameworks that prioritized asceticism and temperance and abstinence and celibacy and things like that. So any opposition to the use of cannabis was probably a part of a more social conservatism that was also responsible for the more conservative sexual ethic that characterized early Christianity and characterizes Christianity still today. So a bit of an irony that opposition to marijuana would be the product of uh, Greek philosophy taking over Christianity from Judaism, which was a lot more tolerant of that kind of thing. The reason why God wants to protect us from this stuff is because when we're doing drugs, we're actually opening up ourselves to the demonic world. This is why you say when you're smoking weed, I feel like I'm connecting closer to God, but you're not connecting closer to God. You're connecting closer to the false source. It's time to put down the blunt. It's time to get filled with the Holy Spirit. If you agree, type amen in the comments and click follow or subscribe for more. So none of that is coming from the Bible. That's all coming from the influence of the outside world on Christianity.